Though every PC has a number of core components that it cannot function without, the CPU is often seen as the most important one, given that it controls all other components and thus is a major factor in overall PC performance. If you have a tighter budget though, getting a high-end performance card while stretching your dollar can be an issue, which is why today we've curated a list of the best budget CPUs, which will help you get the biggest bang for your buck in 2022. Of course, as always, prices and availability of stock for these CPUs will fluctuate, so make sure that you do your research ahead of time to see if your nearest store or online retailer has one of these CPUs. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. The Intel Core i3-10100 While it may be one of the cheapest, low-ranking CPUs in Intel's 10th generation core lineup, it's more than worth the money, considering for those who are on a tight budget, as it's definitely going to deliver good value for the money. With 4 cores and 8 threads, the i3-10100 is a definite step up from its predecessor, the i3-9100, which only had 4 cores and no hyper-threading. This is no small deal in this day and age where multi-threaded performance is becoming more and more important for gaming, and it's especially important if you want to keep future-proofing in mind. The i3-10100 also comes with a stock cooler, and it can keep this particular CPU running at an acceptable temperature. But you might still be tempted to go with a quieter aftermarket cooler if noise generation proves to be an issue. Overall, there's not really much to say about the Intel i3-10100 other than it is a great budget pick for those who want to spend under $150 on a CPU. At the time of this recording, it's available for $135. The AMD Ryzen 3 3300X Priced at around $300, AMD's performance-focused Ryzen 3 CPU, which is supposed to bring the goodness of the Zen 2 architecture to the entry-level CPU tier, is next up on our list. The Ryzen 3 3300X had launched alongside the Ryzen 3 3100, and together, these two CPUs are supposed to take on Intel's i3 line in a head-to-head -head competition for entry-level CPUs. Under the hood, the Ryzen 3 3300X is packing 4 cores and 8 threads, which is a configuration that's good enough for most games these days. What's interesting though about the 3300X is that it's unusually high performance for a low-end CPU. The Ryzen 3 3300X is often challenging the 6-core 12-thread Ryzen 5 3600 in many benchmarks that we had tested, while flat-out beating previous generation Ryzen 5 2600s. This improved gaming performance is due to the fact that the four cores on the 3300X reside on a single core complex, which helped to drastically reduce latency as compared to the six cores and eight core models respectively. The AMD Ryzen 5 3400G Equipped with 11 Vega graphics cores, the Ryzen 5 3400G offers some of the most integrated graphics performances in this range. It's capable of running even the latest AAA games at acceptable frame rates in 1080p, and it fares pretty well at 720p. Granted, it is nowhere near the level of the next budget GPUs, such as the GTX 1650 Super, but saving alone might make it worth it for some folks. Of course, no processor is without its flaws, and the budget CPU here is no exception. The main drawback of the Ryzen 5 3400G is the limited CPU performance, which does make it unappealing if you actually intend on getting a decent GPU. The 12 nanometer Zen Plus architecture also feels quite dated in 2022. You know, with the all-new 7 nanometer Zen 3 models blowing out last year's Zen 2 lineup. That said, the Ryzen 5 3400G is still a great pick for those that can't afford a dedicated graphics card, or maybe don't intend on playing overly demanding games and mainly focusing on esports and indie titles. At the time of this recording, the Ryzen 5 3400G is available for $340. The AMD Ryzen 5 3600 The AMD Ryzen 5 3600 isn't just a great gaming CPU with a serious multi-thread chop, but it's also incredibly good for its value. The 6-core processor from AMD does come with an AMD design chip interface, which has enhanced the connection between the motherboard and the processor. The interface has been enhanced further with AMD's vented processor heat sinks, which are capable of cooling the CPU and the integrated memory cooler, which help to take care of integrated memory modules while the processor is working. The total cooling capacity is rated at 140 watts, and this does allow the system to run even without a cooling pad. All these features help to make the Ryzen 5 3600 a powerful desktop processor, which can easily meet your current demands having a fast processor and cooling desktop PC. Currently, the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 is available for $300. The Intel Core i5-12600K 
The 12th generation Intel Core i5-12600K is a fantastic mid-range option. At around $370, it's an affordable option with a decent speed of around 3.7 GHz. The 10-core processor combines solid speeds with fast processing using six performance cores and four efficient cores. It's a three-speed system that uses an LGA 1700 socket, and its design incorporates hyper-threading architecture, which means that you can count on the system to still perform well despite demanding power-hungry programs. It also features a signature turbo boost with new and revamped Intel UHD graphics. The L3 cache is capable of holding up to 16 megabits of data for improved performance with extensive Intel 7 architecture. Not to mention that the incorporated microarchitecture helps to create greater power efficiency so as to help those of us that are a bit more conscientious about our electric bills. In any case, the Intel Core i5-12600K is a solid all-round CPU for gaming. Currently, it's on the market for $374. The Intel Core i7-10700K. This CPU is capable of hitting staggering clocking speeds. How high? Well, 5.1 gigahertz to be precise and it still remains remarkably stable even when pushed that far. Of course, you don't have to invest in a super pro cooler that can keep it from melting down whenever it does hit those speeds, as it even doesn't come with a cooler included. The Intel Core i7-10700K is a powerful Intel CPU for gaming. Moreover, just like its i5 counterpart, the i7-10700K doesn't support PCIe 4.0, which is a bit of a bigger deal with a pricier CPU like this one. As mentioned above, it's not that big of a deal when it comes to gaming at the moment, but if you do any sort of memory intensive work, then you might want to consider getting a PCIe 4.0 SSD now, or maybe further down the line, because it's definitely going to be something to keep in mind. As such, while the i7-10700K is definitely an impressive CPU that would be at home in any high-end gaming PC, as well as workstations, it's currently overshadowed by AMD's budget option that we're going to talk about next. At this moment, this budget CPU can be best found at $335, the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. It's a CPU that, as we mentioned earlier, overshadows the competition and its predecessor in a number of ways. For starters, the core and thread count may have remained the same ever since the first Ryzen 7 models were released back in 2017. But the same cannot be said for the overall performance, which has improved significantly compared to even last gen's Ryzen 7 3800 XT. And much like the Ryzen 5 5600X, this is a very power efficient CPU that does come complete with PCIe 4.0 support, something that certain users should definitely keep in mind. The AMD Ryzen 7 5800X desktop processor is built upon the Zen 3 architecture with 7 nanometer processing. AMD's new Zen 3 architecture is mighty impressive, delivering a 19% boost to the instructions per cycle, aka IPC, which essentially results in a more powerful and efficient performance. One aspect that shouldn't be undervalued is that Ryzen 5000 processors don't require a new motherboard chipset. The Ryzen 7 5800X will work with practically any 500 series motherboard following a BIOS update, which means that you won't have to purchase a new board whenever upgrading from Ryzen's 3000 series. Ultimately, the Ryzen 7 5800X is a great CPU that handles both single-threaded and multi-threaded workloads remarkably well, so it's a great fit for games and professional software personnel alike. Also, as previously mentioned, it's more future-proof than any other CPU out there, considering that it does support PCIe 4.0. You can pick up the Ryzen 7 5800X for $350. So, what do you guys think about our lineup of CPUs? Are there any other CPUs out there, though, that we may have not covered that you would have liked to see on our list? If so, let us know in the comment section down below, and make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews and news, along with dinging the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more content we put out there. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.